I am the newcomer that we're having that conversation about. So I wasn't born here. I moved to Canada when I was 12. And I grew up in a place where we don't play on ice. Um, and my immigrant parents would think I was crazy for doing that. And they certainly weren't about to go play on ice. So in you know, early adulthood, when I was looking for a winter activity to keep me busy, because I love sport and I love being active, but most activities are summer oriented. I was talking to a friend of mine at work who happened to suggest, hey, I'll take up some curling. I don't know what that's about, but I got to stand on some ice apparently. So I found some friends who wouldn't laugh at me and would train me and answer my questions. And we formed a, a, a little team and we joined, you know, a, a rec league at the Garrison Club in Calgary. And what I learned on that ice was that the ice doesn't discriminate and the rocks don't discriminate and the brooms don't discriminate. And my friends loved me enough to not hold it against me that I hadn't learned the game that they loved and had grown up in. But when I walk into other curling spaces, and I have, and this is a true story, looking like I look and dressing like I dress, I have often experienced someone looking at me and saying, oh, hey, thanks for being here. Can you go set up the breakfast over there? Can you go make sure that the food is ready? And so what I experienced on the ice is a beautiful culture, a culture of welcome, a culture of throw a rock, drink some beers, have some community. So my why is that I want to be involved. I want to be part of a culture that is that, that is inclusive, that is welcoming, that doesn't think I'm less than or just here to serve the breakfast. I mean, I'll give you breakfast, but I don't have any burritos with me. 